praise the Lord. We give God praise and glory. Thank God. It is penal hour. It is a Saturday time. We give God honor and glory that you are joining us. My name is Pastor Michael Kwame Nwagono of the Penal City Prayer Palace. And we are bringing you Penal Hour at this moment and to pray with you and to join us with you. Wherever you are, share the link now. Call attention of people. Let's do this together in God's presence. It is going to be a powerful time. It will be a joyful time in His presence today. If you have your Bible, as you get people on set and People ready? Let's go quickly into the book of Genesis chapter 41 verse 52. Genesis chapter 41 verse 52. This is a prayer or something that had happened to the man called Joseph. Genesis 41 52 he said, And the second son of um, Joseph he called Ephraim because he said, Because God has made me fruitful in my suffering. You are going to pray and declare. In this season of suffering, in your season of handicap, in your season of isolation, in your season of trouble, you are praying that God make me fruitful. Let me flourish. Let him become a blossoming figure in the face where I am. If you are ready to pray with me, see Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father right, now, right now, I come before you come before by you, your word, by your and, word. I and I declare in the face, in the face of, my suffering, of my suffering, of my challenges, my challenges. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, let me be fruitful. Come on, lift your voice and pray. In the face of COVID-19, in the face of this challenging moment, in the face of this trying time, you are praying praying and telling the Lord, Father, let me be fruitful. Lord God, let me make it in this time. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for grace to be fruitful. Oh Lord, I speak, oh God, that in the face of my trouble, I will be fruitful. I lift up prayer. I ask, oh God, make me fruitful, oh Lord, in the face of my challenge in the face of my challenge i pray this moment to god Father, make me fruitful. I speak it right now. I declare it to God that what I touch of God that looks difficult, you will make my life fruitful. Somebody make a prayer to God. Somebody speak to God. Somebody cry to God. Father, make me fruitful. Lord, make me fruitful. Lord, make me fruitful. Lord, bless the handiwork of God. Lord, make me fruitful. Come on, speak to God. Come Come on, make a declaration to God. Speak to God and declare, Lord, in the face of my trying moment, Lord, let me bounce back. For there is hope for a tree that when it is cut down, it shall sprout again. Lord, I speak it today that my life will sprout again. My life will spring forth again. I will rebound. I will back back. I will do well in the name of Jesus. My child moment will be a fertilizer to boost me up again my challenging moment will be a time to spring me on a new pot my challenging time will be that which you will use to carry me to the next level I declare Jehovah Lord make me fruitful in the name of Jesus I speak it now Lord I declare it right now in the name of Jesus Lord make my life fruitful in in the name of Jesus, I speak it now. I declare it now in the name of Jesus Christ. You are declaring it. And as you are declaring it over yourself, declaring it over your family, I declare that in this challenging moment, God will bless you ever than before. Amen. When people say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. Amen. Because the God you serve is making your life fruitful hallelujah Amen. we bless god for today 
and um, today is ninth tomorrow is 10th the second sunday of the month of may worldwide is acknowledged as the mother's day uh, and so tomorrow i will be speaking with the icgc church in delaware on a zoom conference and uh, it will be at 10 o'clock at american time that is about 3 30 our time so tomorrow 10 30 i will be with the delaware um delaware icgc and uh, we'll be blessing them tomorrow on the zoom and so you will see the notification placed on the on the internet i want you to join the link the invitation link and the password will be right there join the meeting come on my personal status look for the meeting link join it and let's together go before god tomorrow exactly at 3 30 ghana time and at american time at 10 30 we will be joining hearts with the icgc church join us to do that prayer i'll be glad all mothers and mother figure mothers in your life will join in that service tomorrow and we are believing god that god will use our vocal organs myself and my wife to be a blessing to you tomorrow as we fellowship together on this particular network make time and let's do this fellowship together hallelujah for some time now we have been uh, looking at prayer looking at prayer and uh, we have tried to define prayer and uh, we said that prayer is speaking to spirit and uh, we also went further in our description to prayer and we said prayer is making petition we also said that prayer is earthly lenses for heavenly intervention that will be done on earth as it is in heaven and so the earth is that it belongs to men the heaven belongs to god so god gives man um, a, a territory and man must allow god to to interfere to get involved in his matter we establish that prayer is not informing god because he's all knowing but prayer is involving god because he knows it but you are telling him to take over and so i said that prayer can be prayer only when there are certain ingredients in prayer because prayer sometimes is prayed to god as a supreme being sometimes prayer is prayed into a situation as dealing with a particular mountain or sickness and prayer is also prayed against satan our arch enemy and so within these three levels uh, three phases or three spheres of prayer there are certain ingredients that are needed to make prayer very very effective now a lack of those ingredients make your 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 prayer an empty bubbling and an empty shell and so i said that prayer must be must be premised on the issue of faith must be premised on the issue on the ingredients of faith now in that we looked at the 14 kinds of faith in scripture now prayer must also be premised on the sacrifice you have on the sacrifice you have so if your prayer can can you can pull god's hand down depending on the sacrifice you are attaching to the prayer now prayer also can be moved by the name of jesus pray in the name of jesus now we'll see what does that mean or pray by the blood of jesus or you are praying by desire you are praying by desire because if these ingredients cannot be located in your prayer your prayer is is insufficient today we have finished the case of prayer by faith and on this panel hour I want to major on prayer I want to major on um, prayer the ingredient of desire we are using the ingredient of desire if let's start from jeremiah chapter 25 sorry jeremiah 29 jeremiah 29 we are going to use verse 11 to 13 but we'll start from the bottom up jeremiah 29 from verse 13 verse 12 then verse number 11 but if you are writing, you can write Jeremiah 13, verse 11 to 
sorry, Jeremiah 29 verse 8. of desire jeremiah calls his writers there that if you look for god with your whole heart if you look for god with all your enthusiasm if you search for god desiring to know him you will find him then jeremiah says that when you talk to him after you have looked for him with your whole heart, he will listen. For the plans he has for us are good plans. If your prayer can be powerful, one ingredient you need to add to your, your, your major case of prayer is what I call desire. Prayer without desire will not bring a fulfillment to your request, I'm telling you. There are people that are praying. You are not getting what you want simply because your desire is not that which is propelling you to pray. You are either praying because you are under pressure. You are either praying because some people are putting a demand on you to pray but until you and i understand that our prayer can never be effective our prayer can never get to where it must get to until our desire is in place that which propels you to enter prayer stay in prayer remain in prayer until an answer come is the power of desire pastor michael what is desire i'll define desire desire is not a mere wish but it is a deep seated craving an intense longing for something to happen it's a deep seated craving I need a job. Genesis 31. Rahel called her husband and said, Give me a child, else I will die. Your desperation towards God, your desire is that which drives you. I need a job. I need a breakthrough. You are praying and you are dozing. It tells the desire you are having. Because if your desire is intact, if your desire is in place, if your desire is doing well, I tell you, cause my dear, you will pray and definitely an answer will come. So desire is the deep-seated craving. Look at another definition I love. It is important in the spiritual realm and it's, it's also an adjutant in prayer that is desire so for you to see prayer coming you must see desire in front of it desire precedes prayer can i say that again 
Desire precedes prayer. Desire accompanies prayer. So prayer can begin. Prayer can start by desire. And whilst you are praying, what keeps you in the flow is desire. So desire precedes prayer. Desire accompanies prayer. And desire creates the intensity in prayer. You can get to some people who can bury their head in their laps like Elijah. And I just pray, ah, 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 ah. And they are expecting to see a cloud appear. He said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. But what I hear is not what I see. I enter into prayer. And until God answers, I'm not giving up. Until God turns our case around. Until COVID-19 disappears on the face of the earth. Prayer is vocalized. Desire is silent. Desire cannot be heard. Prayer can be heard. But for prayer to be powerful, you need desire to push it. The deeper the desire, the stronger the prayer. Ooh. The deeper the desire, the stronger the prayer. There are people who went to one embassy, they were rejected. Second embassy, they were rejected. I think that maybe God has made me a homework. I will stay here. It's a lie. Because listen, Daniel was fasting and he started prayer. And the first day, Bible said his prayer went and the angel was bringing an answer. But the spirit decided, I will stop this prayer. I will make sure David and Daniel will never have a prayer, answer to prayer. And Bible said he stayed in prayer for 21 days. Crying to God for 21 days. Praying to God for 21 days until heaven broke loose. You are joking with your prayers. You are joking with things. This kind of wishy-washy, our Father, Son, Holy Spirit prayer, my dear, it doesn't produce answers. It is time for you and I to go to the horns of the altar. Make all nice to God. Make cries to God. James chapter 5, he said, Elijah was a man like us. But Bible said he made prayers earnestly and held to God that there will not be rain. So prayer can be motivated by the way you and I hold on to God. Prayer is the way you and I die to God. Our passion to hold on God. Desire is the inward longing for something which God has promised, which may be secured in an endless supplication to the throne of grace. He promised he will be with us. He promised he will give you a miracle. But up to now, you don't have it. So in prayer, you need to hold on or hold him by his promise. What does his word say? What does his situation say? That is that which will propel you to get an answer. Today, we are going to pray. But before we pray, I want you to get a desire. There are two types of desire. Good desire, evil desire. Evil desire can bring you a result. I look at a few ones in scriptures. Then I'll look at good desire and I'll challenge you to pick a good desire that we enter into prayer and give ourselves some time if that which is in your heart will not be answered. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse number 10, Bible says, the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving for money, loving money, desiring for money, looking for money, they have wandered away from the truth. 
So money is not evil, but the crave, the desire, the evil desire, the thing that it says, I want to drive a, Lum a Lumugini, I want to drive a Rolls Royce, I want to live in a seven bedroom house, I want to have two swimming pools in my compound, I want to have uh, turkeys moving around on my compound, I want to have a peacock moving around on my compound, I want to have 70 acres around my compound with grasses, with green grass and trees. The desire of craving or craving for big things, the desire, the desire and the creed can drive you into things. James chapter 1, chapter 5, sorry, James chapter 4. He said, where does this grieve? Look at what he says. What causes quarrels? What causes fight? Is it not your passion that is at war in you? You desire, you don't have. You murder, you covet to obtain, but you cannot. So desire is something that drives you to do something evil. If you're has six packs his arms are his his biceps and triceps and say come on I want such a man there are some people going around and marking people's buildings and say I want I want I claim this house I claim this car I claim this shoe I claim this bag I, I claim this dress sister it is not by claiming my brother is not by claiming it is by prayer so there are evil desires and there are good desires. In the book of Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse number 9 to 10. Let me read it out for you. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9 through to 10. For a great door and an effectual door has been opened, but there are adversaries in that door. Now if that Timothy come, see that he may be without fear for the work and the work of the Lord, that which I do is the same he does. Paul is praying and says that, I desire to come because I've seen a great door open. And so because of that door, I will stay and preach. But as I stay to preach in that place, somebody must see that, that desire must work either for the positive or for the negative. Look at Psalms of Solomon chapter six, verse number 12. If you are reading from a Bible that is your market, it's very important. We are talking about prayer, the ingredient of desire. Interesting, interesting. In, in, in Psalms of Solomon chapter 6, verse number 12, he said, Before I realize, my desire has brought me among the princes and the chariots of Israel. Oh my God. I had a desire. I had a craving. And I was desiring something. But before I realized that which I was desire put me in the midst of certain great people. You are going to make a prayer today, my dear. Understand this. The same way a craftsman, the same way a sculpture, a sculptor can sit and have an imagination in his mind and use that which is in his mind to develop a thing of a substance in his hands. It could look a dirty clay. It could look an object that is not nice. But he has an image in his mind. And he can use it on that which is in his hands. Desire is also the thing inside that prayer produces physically in your hands. So the, the, the Psalms almost said, I had a desire which was not seen. I had a drive which was not seen. I had a craving which was not seen. And that craving brought me to a place of greatness. 
it is my prayer today that you will join me to tell the Lord and say oh Lord help me that I will have the right desire to pray because listen if your desire is not right Bible says in Mark chapter 11 verse 24 Mark 11 24 he said whatsoever you desire when you pray my goodness whatsoever you desire when you pray so your prayer is predicated on the issue of your desire so if your desire is right and you pray he said whatsoever you desire when you pray in my name i will give it so desire is necessary his name is necessary for your prayer to be pushed to give an answer Hannah went to God in prayer. Every year he kept going to Shiloh. Every year he kept going to Shiloh. But one particular year when she went, she said, Oh God, that you will give me a son. He didn't say, Give me a child. He said, Give me a son. So until your desire is in place, Father, give me a work to do. I want a job. I want a job. I want a job. Open a door for me. Open a door for me. And every day you are in the house. You are in the room. You don't write your CV. You have not sent it to the bank. You have not sent it to that company. I want to pray with somebody one day in that Chibota forest. It's a place where people love to pray in Ghana. It's a forest. So whilst we're praying, I asked the person, what work do you want? Where do you want to work? Then he mentioned the company. He said, Talo Oil. And I said, just the same name you have mentioned. We are creating a space for you there. Praise God, the person is working there. Amen. What I'm saying is that your desire is the drive. It's a drive. Years ago, a friend of mine had come from the U.S. And he said, Pastor Michael, I want God to give me a husband. I said, list the kind of man you want. He said, I want his eyebrow like this, his, his dental, his dental arrangement like this, his height like this. He, he described it. And I said, this one is a very difficult one. But Bible said, whatsoever you desire. Praise God. That woman is married to such a person. Amen. What am I talking about? Until your desire is complete. Until your desire is in place. In the Bible. Psalm 144, verse 12. 144, verse 12. Listen to it. Let's enter into prayer with it. Psalm 144, verse number 12. He said, That your sons may be as grown in their youth, or as your sons may flourish in their youth. Then the next line. And your daughters may be as pillars that are sculptured in the palace tile my god that they can take a chisel and take a hammer and and design a pillar carve it in a way that the pillar can be in the design of the palace that god can make our daughters to be in the decorated pillar in the similitude of the palace Listen, there comes a time that God needs to, you see, desire is that which calls you out, calls your answer out, calls your issue out. You have been too quiet with God this moment, but I pray that he will carve things out of your spirit. Amen. Let me read John chapter 15, verse 7 to verse number 16 and pray with you today. John chapter 15, verse 7 then jump to verse number 16. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask whatsoever you desire and it shall be done for you. Interesting. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go out and bear fruit and that your fruit shall remain. And whatsoever you ask my father in my name, I will do it. What are you talking about? We are talking about desire. And today is my prayer that that which you desire in life, 
that which you have been expecting in life. Pastor Michael, I want to travel. I want to travel. I heard the story of a young boy who had been praying and praying and praying day and night. I want to travel. One day he was walking in the streets of Accra. Then he bypassed somebody. Immediately they bypassed each other. The guy stopped and he said, hello, can I help you? Then he said, I, I don't know what you can do for me. He said, when you just passed, the Holy Ghost told me I should help you go to abroad. Wow. The person he, he has prayed it until the thing is moving in his in his, in his atmosphere attracts oh, yeah. such kind of thing. You are going to make a prayer to God, my dear. Until I have my answer, I'm not getting on my feet. I'm not yes. getting up right now. Are you ready to pray with me? Say in the name of Jesus, name I, of come Jesus. Today, I come today by the word of God. Word of whatever, whatever I desire, I desire and, I ask, and I ask, I will have it will have right, it. Now. right now. I desire, I desire, I desire, I desire, I desire, I desire good things good in things. my office. I desire great things in my family. I desire great testimonies in my finances. Help me live father right now i declare let my desire manifest 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 come on talk to god my dear my dear talk to god make a prayer to god your desire shall be answered your desire will be rewarded your desire will be granted that which you are asking god it will be done for you today that which you are asking god heaven shall provide it that which you are asking God heaven will do it that which you are asking God heaven will let it come to pass somebody put your desire come on request your desire come on tabulate your desire come on make it known to God heaven is ready to answer angels are ready to descend angels are ready to bring it answers are about to come somebody make your desire known somebody pray your desire somebody Somebody cry your desire. Somebody call your desire. Let your desire manifest. Let your will manifest. Come on, make your prayer. Ah, we make a prayer to God in the name of Jesus. He said, whatsoever you desire, if you pray, I will grant it. One of the things I stand tonight to desire is that we wake up and cover 19 will be no more. Amen. I desire that the hand of God will clear this, this virus, Amen. will arrest this virus, yes, and that this virus will disappear Amen. on our face of our world, yes, on the face of our continent. Yes, I don't know what your desire is, but Bible says whatsoever you desire, when you pray, you will have it. If you are with me right now, stretch your hand and say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father I make a demand. Make a Let demand. my desire, Let my, desire. My, good desire my good desire, my sweet desire, my sweet desire. Let, it Let it manifest right now. Right now. You have two minutes. Somebody make a prayer to God. Come on, make a prayer to God. Demand today in the name of Jesus. I make a prayer by the word of God. My desire, my desire, my desire, my desire. La 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 in, 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 in Genesis 30 verse 1, Bible said, And Rahel held to the husband and said, Give me a child, else I die. He was holding to the husband with a desire to say, God, do it, else I die. And my Bible said, Exactly a year later, Rahel conceived her first child, Joseph. I pray for you today, with your desperation, heaven will give you a one year miracle by this time. Amen. A year by this time, you would have bought that land. Amen. A year by this time, 
you have been living in that new house. Amen. A year by this time, you have been promoted to that position. Amen. A year by this time, you have been working in that office. Amen. A year by this time, you have been living in that community. Amen. A year by this time, you have had a testimony in your life. Amen. If you believe what I'm saying, just type it in a year by this time. Amen. Just type it in a year by this time. Amen. Keep typing it in a year by this time. 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 I declare it over your life. Your Amen. desire will come to pass. Your Amen. desire will manifest. Your Amen. desire will be fulfilled. Your desire will, will see light. It will see fruition. For the word took flesh and the flesh dwelt among us. I declare today, may that desire take flesh. May that desire take flesh. May that desire manifest. May that desire happen in your life today. In the name of Jesus, your hands will handle it. Your life will handle it. You will bear your testimony. You will share your testimony. In the name of Jesus, I declare over your life in this penal hour I speak over your life on this particular day I declare today may your desire manifest into tangibility may your desire manifest into tangibility in the name of Jesus may it be tangible in your life today may it be tangible on your hands today in the name of Jesus we command it manifest Amen. desire is an ingredient you need in prayer very essential i stretch my hand over somebody hearing right now and i declare you whose desire is going down may the lord give you grace that wakes up a person's spirit that gives a person a drive that which gives a person an enthusiasm that which makes a person rise out of the ashes and shake himself and say enough is enough i can make a turn in my life I declare that may that grace of God bring a turning on your case. Amen. On this particular day, I declare your story has changed for the better. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I call it done. Amen. Amen. God bless you for making time today. I want to tell you especially, listen, we are having tomorrow, um, it's Mother's Day. I'm coming on with the Zoom. Away, USA. I'll be preaching tomorrow at exactly 10 10 30 American time. That is 3 p.m. 3 30 p.m. Ghana time. And I would love that you join us on the Zoom tomorrow. Join us tomorrow at the Zoom exactly at 3 p.m. as I bring a mother's mother's day message to mothers and i'll be preaching tomorrow with my wife on that line to bless the people of america and all of you who are coming i need you on board to share this idea together then tomorrow evening at exactly 7 p.m i will come your way again to talk about another ingredient you need in prayer very essential ingredient you need in prayer and you can't miss this series of prayer very important you can't miss it for anything today we'll be talking about prayer the desire that is an ingredient you can fulfill that you need essentially in your life if you have missed any of the series you go back on our on our, on our Facebook page, you see the series there, and we've gone about five ways or five points already. You can go back there, look at the points, re-listen to it, uh, take notes about it, learn over it, go over it, pray about it, and the Lord will give you grace and strength in the next phase. Pastor Michael is my name. Thank you, all those of you who came online, those who help us to share, and those who send the message to other people. God bless you. I'm grateful. Your work may
please send it to us write a, a name on that send a bank note or something send a mobile something and just bless the name of the lord i bless all those who have taken their phone and have started bringing money may the lord bless you may the lord favor you those who do that in the coming days we speak for a blessing over your life we ask that the desire you have to help god's work may god bless you because you have a good desire that by this good desire god's work will go far in jesus mighty name i call it done amen and amen, amen.